Hello, this is an exam question for paper one, and the topic is living world. The question is asking, explain how vegetation in hot deserts adapts to the climate. Already, the command word is stating in this question that we need to explain. So rather than just saying how vegetation in hot deserts adapts, we need to say how and why. And the key part that links to the why is the climate. Why does it need to adapt to the climate in those areas of the desert? So, first of all, the plant we're going to be thinking about, so the vegetation, is the saguaro. Just watch your spelling with that, especially if it's a spag question. Luckily this four marker isn't. So the saguaro cactus is well adapted to the hot desert. It has a shiny, waxy, green stem that reflects the sunlight and reduces Evapo transpiration. It has spines instead of leaves. So we've said how there. We need to know why and link that to the climate to allow any rain. That does fall, so here's our reference to climate. To hit the ground so that the cactus can absorb the water through its roots. Following this, linking back to again the case study, so the saguaro cactus, so keep dropping that in there, has long roots, so there's the how, so it can seek and tap out any available Hi, sorry, oh, groundwater finally Hi. this cactus has pleats in its trunk which allows the cactus to swell, expand and then store the water for times when there is no rain. Right, now we've got our answer. What I'm going to do 
is just go through and mark it and show you where we're gaining those marks. So again, we know it's a four mark question, so really what we need is two explained points that show how it adapts and also why does it adapt to the climate. So we need to be in our explained points explaining how does it adapt to the climate. So our first bit is just making sure we show the examiner that we're re reaching towards that level two, that higher level, three to four marks, and that's putting in the case study, so it's the cactus itself. So the saguaro cactus is well adapted to the hot desert. It has a shiny, waxy green stem, level one, so we've said how it adapts. That reflects sunlight and reduces evapotranspiration. So that's our level two, so I've just bracketed that there. We've said how it adapts to the climate. It has spines instead of leaves, level one, so we've got that clear description of what it's like to allow any rain that does fall to hit the ground so the cactus can absorb the water through its roots, level two. So already this person at this stage has probably pretty much gained the four marks. So you might not actually have to write this amount, but just to ensure we've got the mark, I'll put one more part in there. So saguaro cactus has long roots, level one. So we've gained that first mark there. So it can seek out and tap out any available groundwater. And finally, this cactus has pleats in its trunk, which allow the cactus to swell and expand and to store any water for the time when there's no rain. So that clear link there, no rain, linking back to the fact that we're talking about a desert. So it's going to be very minimal groundwater available from the rainfall. So we've clearly, this statement here, reached level two. I've made three statements in there. That normally would be enough for probably about five or six marks. I would always put that third one in there if you've got the space or time just to ensure we reach those marks. So that's it. That's four marks explaining how vegetation in hot desert adapts to the climate.